what's the story gonna be? What are we gonna do? How is it gonna be done? I know they say people can understand autism and other conditions better, because at the moment not many people understand it. There are over half a million people in the UK with autism. That's around one in a hundred. I'm on the right track, baby, I was born this way. Well, with all due respect, if I offend anyone, I apologise. I think normal is boring. If everyone was normal, and they'd be doing like the same thing day in, day out, eating the same thing, wearing the same thing. It would be all boring. Be, there's nothing interesting in doing that. Some people like riding bikes, some people just like to sit in and read books, and some people do magic, like me. <laughs> I think normal is a person's point of view, and my point of view is I am not normal and I am glad about that. I may have been born different and misunderstood from birth, but I know there is a place for me somewhere in this universe. When I was younger, I didn't know I had autism and my psychiatrist told me that I was not normal and she advised me to buy new clothes and get makeup to wear and to read women's magazines to learn how to be normal. But then I got older and I realised there was nothing wrong with me, I'm just autistic, I'm, that's who I am. I didn't really realise I had autism until very late on when I had a, a mentor when I was going to a place that deals with disabilities people and I found out I got autism and I was about 22 at the time. My other peers at school had given me the diagnosis of freak and the R word which I won't actually say because I don't like it and um, basically I was convinced for quite a long time that I really was those things. In the high school and before I was bullied quite a lot. The school I went to at the time was in high, uh, high measures and they didn't know what to really do with the problems and it, I, f I feel they had this stuff backwards. Instead of removing the troubled child, the person doing the problems, they removed the problem be the person being bullied. Well, I just thought it was backwards. Over 40% of children with autism have been bullied at school. I might as well show you one of my many talents. These pictures are of me in various cosplay costumes, which is Japanese and short for costume play. One I'm working on right now was inspired by the work of furry costumes. I took a lot of ideas from YouTube, well, I used those ideas, as this mask is still unfinished, is one of my greatest works of art. I would say that uh, my experience of um, having autism is that um, I think um, in a way it's kind of helped me to become a more creative person. I see people with Asperger's Syndrome as a bright thread in the rich tapestry of life. Well, I'm hoping to go to college in September to study small animal care. My main aspiration is to be either a science fiction writer or a game show host. To achieve my goal of voice acting, I need to learn all the basics first. So, I am currently level 2 performing arts at Barnfield College. You could do your magic tricks. Hmm. Maybe, but I prefer to dazzle them with my wit on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course. I was on the right track, baby, I was born to be brave. There ain't no other way, baby, I was born this way. Since making What is Normal Anyway, Nick has been making stop motion animations at home. He has also recently made another video for Autism Bedfordshire and led a puppet making workshop. Linda is volunteering with Oxfam and is on a leadership course, but she is frustrated because she cannot get a job. 
Kieran is continuing his media and art studies at Barnfield College. Anthony helps his father with his security business. He attends a social group and an advocacy group where he makes his voice heard. Lucy has had a tough time since working on What's Normal. She was turned down by her college course because she wasn't able to get personal support and she has had to move home twice. As for me, I am teaching my card tricks to a friend who owns a comic shop and, of course, I still love presenting and am available for a reasonable rate. So, watch this space.